We have Hamzat Shemaya versus Nate Diaz. The first time I saw Nate was tough season five. He won that season and just, yeah, then he just fucking like, there's just so many iconic moments, even before the Conor McGregor moment. Like there's so many iconic ones. Kurt Pellegrino triangle, fucking flex, flip the bird. Takanori Gomi, the way he beat him. I think it's boxing in that fight. It just. He always had a wide stance as well. Like the reals, maybe just to bring himself down to those guys' level. The way he boxed him up and then guillotined him. That second Gray Maynard fight, that might be my favorite Nate Diaz fight. Gray is like pretty much knocked out on the fence. Do you remember the fight? I think I he was like knocked out on the fence and he was, what? And then, pa! Boom! And he just sends his head back. Fuck. That shit was gangster. Without Connor, Nate wouldn't be as big as he is now. Connor put him on without putting them on. You know, they fought and then they had a platform, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that was his moment, man. Stepped in there on short notice and then did what he did. And then from there, he's had four fights since. So you got you have to look at the, the body of work, just body after bodies. Win, lose, or draw, fuck, it was always a brawl. Comes out Shemaya. And him, he's always barking. The thing, you know, after every fight, because he wants to fight everyone. I kill everybody. Ah, da, da, da. I kill it. When did I first see him fight? Would have been he knocked out that middleweight. Yeah, that was the first time I seen Kamzat fight. The one that made me impressed was the, the leech fight because Kamzat just mauled him, picked him up, put him in front of Dana, and then choked him out, put him to sleep. And I never seen anyone do that to Leech before. But yeah, people still doubted. And we're like, oh, you know, Whitley fights the top competition. And then he goes to fight Gilbert Burns. Big jumping competition. This is what made me like him because when he got when he got dinged you know certain people i've done to people where like you, you know they, they're unbeaten they feel like they can do this to this and that blah blah, blah. no one can beat me blah, blah, blah. and then when they get hit with adversity they fold you know the psyche wasn't as strong but he gets dinged he scrambles and gets on top of gilbert and then gilbert had to kick him off the fence after the bell and they still try to hit him and that was a crazy moment that was a, the third round was a decider where he had to like bite down his mouthpiece and show his true fighting spirit, his mental fortitude, and he did. I felt like he earned a lot of people's respect after that fight. This is because it's Nate's last fight on his contract. So how everyone seeing this fight is like, it's just you feeding him to the wolf, the wolves. I feel like, yeah, it's, they're, they're doing Nate wrong by trying to feed him this up and comer who is just destroying everyone that's been in his way. And for Nate's last fight, I felt like it would've been cool to see him fight someone like, Tony? Literally, what I was about to say, you took the, like out my mouth on the same card. I was about to say Tony Ferguson. That would have been a good last fight. But with Nate Conor McGregor, that was one of the uh, the biggest time he shocked the world. But taking that fight on short notice, you know, he choked him out in the second round because Conor was beating him up in the first round, touching him. But then when this is it, when people get tired though. Nate is like a like a steam engine, he just chugga 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 chugga, and just keeps going. And then you know see what he does he just like even connor couldn't handle that pressure like he just put it on him it's hard to finish nate it's hard it's hard to finish nate yeah. but if someone could do it it might be this guy it's five rounds fuck oh has he even been five rounds ah! it's just got interesting i didn't think about that like three rounds round four and five this is where nate starts to thrive and nate's tough that's the thing man. i'm telling you nate he can last. Even the Leon fight, Leon was pinging him. And then out of nowhere in the last last round, ping, and then hurt him. Then he points. And then from there, what did he do? He just put his foot on the gas and just drove recklessly with reckless abandon. Even at the end when he just, boom, boom, all that shit, he still had all that energy. You know what I mean? In the fifth round, after getting his ass beat, I'm just discovering, as I'm talking about it, I'm discovering new things about the fight or about the situation. I'm like, oh shit. Uh, but Chemayas, if he if he was gonna win, Chemayas gonna win. I'm gonna say decision. If Nate's gonna win, I think Nate's gonna win. He's gonna finish him later on. Later on, it'd be hard to say decision, but I think Chemayas gonna gas around the third, fourth, fifth, third or fourth, and then Nate just takes over and just TKOs or submits him. If he pulls it off, and I, he's shocked the world before, Conor McGregor. No one expected him to win. Even back then, I didn't expect him to win. Conor was on fire. Well, that's my opinion. 